Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? All right, spirit, angels, guys, messages for Pisces, spirit. Who or what is coming towards Pisces in love, spirit? Who or what is coming towards Pisces? in love oh wow we have bountiful harvest and parting ways this is from my stellar energy oracle deck all of the decks that i'm using by the way are linked in the description box as well so bountiful harvest is a card about growth abundance planting seeds watching them grow and then we have parting ways separation divide heartbreak so I'm getting a few messages here. One of the main one that I'm getting is that this pro was probably a connection that had a lot of potential or grew over time. And now there's a divide or a separation. Maybe there was something heartbreaking that occurred. We'll see when we get to the tarot. Let me see if I can get one more. Can I get one more for Pisces? Let me get one more, please, for Pisces. False person. So someone could have deceived you here. There could have been something where someone appeared one way and it turns out they were not that person. Maybe someone wasn't able to tell you the their true feelings or intentions or maybe you feel like you can't trust this other person so let's see spirits angels guys what messages do you have for pisces messages for pisces please nine of swords we need to know for pisces Queen of Wands. Page of Swords. Well, we started off with the Nine of Swords. So right away, there's worry, anxiety, fear, restlessness over something. We're going to clarify and see. But I also feel like someone's like observing you, keeping tabs on you, wanting to talk to you. There could be some sort of message that comes in with the Page of Swords. And for some reason, I, I think this is you, this Queen of Wands. I feel like you are very alluring to this person, self-assured, or at least you are on the outside. So let's see what this is all about. Why the Nine of Swords? Let's start there. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Five of Swords. Yeah, because of whatever happened. There was probably conflict, uh, an argument, some sort of deception, someone that didn't treat you right, or um, maybe this is what you're worried about, if this is someone new coming in. Can I get one more, please, for the Knight of Swords? Someone could be feeling guilty over what happened as well. The High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like this is about secrets, hiding. Someone hid something from you. Or you found out something about the other person. Can I get one more, please, for the Knight of Swords? Six of Swords, yeah. And someone, I feel, left this connection or there's a divide now because of what happened. Um, this is a pretty clear message here. Can I get uh, some information about this Queen of Wands? Why is this Queen of Wands here, Spirit? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 
we have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like there was some sort of a difficult ending here. Um, a disruption in a otherwise happy home or a stable connection. So I don't know if this Queen of Wands initiated it. But there is definitely an ending here. This could also be a current because this is who or what is coming towards you. So this could be unfolding now or in the near future as well if this ending has not happened. And for some reason, I think this Queen of Wands is initiating this or at least thinking about it. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups. Wow. Another ten. Another card about stability or happiness. Um, it's almost like someone wants to be happy. Can I get one more for this Ten of Cups? Or is thinking about how they can be happy. Can I get this Ten of Cups? Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups, please? Yeah, Six of Wands. So this is someone that wants success. Wants this, I feel. This is the goal. Tell me about this Page of Swords. Why is this Page of Swords here? It's the Star, Aquarius Energy. Can you get one more for this Page of Swords? The Fool. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Uh, that's a clear message as well. Um, I feel like someone wants to either their hope is that someone communicates with them. This could be you, Pisces, or your person. Um, the hope is that someone communicates with them and ha there's a new beginning in love, a fresh start, a clean slate. For others of you, I'm picking up, this is someone that wants to talk um, things out, almost like, can we heal this connection? Can we have a renewal of some sort? Is there hope for us to have something new? Um, so let's get some insight into who this person might be. Spirit, tell me about this person that Pisces is connecting with. What can you tell me about this person that Pisces is connecting with? Tell me about this person. Okay, we have Sagittarius. This is also... Uh, the temperance card of the tarot another card about kind of balancing things out um, or they could be a fire sign have Sagittarius in their chart as well what else can you tell me about this person that Pisces is dealing with there's the star again Aquarius uh, energy these cards even though it says the sign Aquarius Sagittarius um, it's not just these zodiac sign. These cards were also, or are also meant to be major arcana cards, you know? So for the, um, for the star, this is a sign of Aquarius. So I have a starfish here. I hope that makes sense. Okay, yeah, one more. These two cards I feel are about healing, balance, hope, and then we have warm, kind, and affectionate. So this is somebody who I feel had something good with you, felt comfortable with you. Um, I think this is someone who they're, they have warm feelings towards you when they think about you. So let's see, what, what else do we need to know? What's, what's gonna happen next here? I also get the sense that um, maybe this person didn't know what they had until it was over, right? Like that phrase, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Spirit, tell me where is all of this headed for Pisces? Tell me where all of this is headed for Pisces. Where's all of this headed for Pisces? For Pisces. 
Okay, we have the Emperor, Aries Energy. This is the Emperor of the Hierophant. Hold on. In this deck, I always get them confused because they... Well, no, because I think the Hierophant has bits of red in this deck. Please, please bear with me, Pisces. Because I... Yeah, he's wearing red in this deck. Okay, never mind. So that's the Emperor. This is more like a maroon color. They're, they're wearing kind of the same color, so sometimes trips me up. Okay, so we have the Emperor. What's next? What's next for Pisces Spirit? The Magician. Yeah, okay, this is this is very clear message. Um, I don't know if you're manifesting this Pisces, but because I feel like this is more your person's energy. Uh, they want to do something about what happened. Yeah, justice. Look at all, all these energies. They are all aligned. The emperor, that's a doer. That's somebody that loves structure, that has authority. Uh, they like to take charge of the situation, take control over situations. The magician, this is someone that uses every tool at their, at their disposal to make something happen. And then we have justice, Libra energy. This is someone who is logical, fair, balanced. Um, justice usually appears when something's not quite right. Uh, this could be karma as well. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, this is somebody that's really making an effort here. Whoever this is, they're making an effort. Let's start with this Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. What's the Emperor doing here? Yeah, the star, Aquarius energy. This star keeps coming up. Tell me more about this emperor. And there's the temperance card, exactly. Sagittarius energy. Exactly these cards that I saw up here. So this masculine energy here with the emperor, this is what they're focused on on bringing back balance to a situation. Can I get one more for this Emperor? Yeah, Three of Cups. Coming together. Reuniting. Celebrating. So why the magician? What is this about? I feel like this is like the action they hope to take. What's this magician about spirit for Pisces? Is the magician here? The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Why is the magician here? The Two of Swords. So what this tells me with the Hierophant, um, I, you know, I, it's like I hear this phrase, best behavior. Someone that's on their best behavior, someone very traditional. Uh, but then I have here the Two of Swords, okay, and then the Six of Cups. So this is someone that doesn't know the outcome of this, I feel. Maybe they're undecided about exactly how to go about this because of what happened in the past with the Six of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a third party situation where someone else got in the way. Um, I don't feel like that's for everyone, but I just got that message with this three of cups here and the six of cups. I feel like this is connected, almost like something in the past happened with a group of people or with three people or something like that. Can I get one more for the six of cups? Can I get one more please? King of Pentacles, and then Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that wants to do something about the past is what I'm getting. And with the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant, this is someone that I feel being very traditional about things. Like, they're coming at you correct. And I don't know if this is normally their energy. Can I get one more for the Six of Cups? But this is the energy they feel they must take. 
Yeah, Page of Cups. So this is somebody that I feel is going to apologize to you in order to heal something. And this is related to the past. I'm not seeing this Six of Cups as a soulmate type of card. I'm seeing this as, you know, this is someone who is probably unsure of the outcome of this, you know, because of what has happened between you. Why is justice here? Why is justice here, spirit? Queen of Swords. Ooh, these two have swords. Big ones. <laughs> they both are holding up a sword. Okay, can I get one more? For Justice. I got two more. Nine of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this is definitely an apology. Um... I don't know if you can see. Let me move this over a little. I'm also seeing a lot of um, cups here. And I don't know. I feel like I was expecting more of an action, with especially with the Emperor and the Magician. Can I get one for this um, Queen of Swords? Just want to know if this is communication or someone's energy. Spirit, can I get some clarity on this Queen of Swords? The Fool. And Judgment again at the bottom of the deck. A second chance. A new beginning. But there's also a ten of wands here. Can I get one more about the Queen of Swords, please? Can I get some more clarity about this Queen of Swords? The Hermit. Virgo energy. See, I don't know if this is communication or if someone's just taking a risk because of the energy that you have now in this connection. So I'm picturing you as someone who is a bit guarded and not very trusting. I'm picturing you as someone who's doing very well for themselves or at least trying to be independent. Um, maybe you are focusing on yourself right now. I'm also picturing this Queen of Swords as someone who is picturing that they want to be free so maybe they're doing a lot of thinking reflecting on a new clean slate and I don't know if this other person is involved in that or if you're thinking of that other person because I feel like it could go either way here tell me about this nine of Pentacles I feel like this person they they um might be fearing that you will judge them yeah again another card for a beginning ace of wands so this person i feel is going to talk to you or at least open the lines of communication i think this is more about like when it comes to action is all about communicating an apology is what i'm feeling very strongly here they want to, you know, apologize to you. They want to make things right because they want a do-over. But I feel because of what happened in the past, some of you are not trusting of this person and are probably not going to be open to trying again. Let me know which group you fall under in the comments if you feel like sharing. Um, because I do see it could go either way. Um, this person's going to try at least. Um, because these, these two energies are ones of doers, planners, action takers. Anything else that we need to know, Spirit, about this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups? What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups? 
Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. This person, I feel, you know, they really screwed up. And then there's the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is what I'm picturing. Some of you are probably going to hesitate in accepting this cup. Maybe you're not interested at all, you know, but I feel like this person, when they think about you, they think about something good that they've lost. It's like they know they lost a good thing. And now they want to come in with these cups, these emotions, these apologies. You know, I feel like they, you were, you were probably this warm, kind and affectionate person. And I don't know, maybe they should have thought about that before they acted and did whatever happened here. Because I do feel like with the nine of swords that came out, I feel like they might be feeling very guilty. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and if you'd like to say hi in the comments or share if the story resonated, um, then feel free to do so. I love hearing from you all. That way it feels like I'm not talking to myself when I record these videos. Uh, so thank you to everyone who's so supportive, who continues to watch the readings and comes back. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another reading very soon. Take care.